Hey Luke here with catsandcarp.com and I'm here on the James River catching some big old blue catfish and reviewing these awesome big river catfish rods. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna give away this Abu Garcia catfish special and this Bass Pro Shop Cat Max rod to one of you subscribers. So stay tuned to learn how to win. Okay guys, I've got nine rods here behind me and three different types of reels. And let me walk you through what we've got. We've got the Big Cat Fever medium heavy action with the Ming Yang 60. Got the Big Cat Fever heavy action with the Cast King Rover 90. We've got uh, the St. Croix Mojo Cat with the Ming Yang 60. I've got Tingling with Catfish with the Pen Pursuit 2 8000 series. We've got the Battle Cat, the Okuma Battle Cat with the Ming Yang 60. I've got Berkeley E Cat with the Ming Yang 60. The Shatter Cat Rod with the Abu Garcia Catfish Battle Special, that's a 7000 series. We've got the Rail Splitter, the Traveler with the Cast King Rover, the 90. And over here we've got the Bass Pro Shop Cat Max with the Abu, uh, with the Abu Garcia Catfish Special, the 7000. Each of these rods I've got spooled up with Berkeley High Viz 50 pound line. And uh, we're running between 8 to 12 ounces of lead, 10 knot circle hooks, and we've been out fishing for about 8 hours with these rods. Most there's very few rods that are just garbage. You know, most rods they serve a purpose. You know, and it's just knowing what what, what action is what. Yeah. Yeah. Just what which which one for which job. Well, they seem to be casting really good with these big leads. I'm I'm pretty impressed because most of these are designed for five ounce leads, six ounce leads, and we're throwing uh, eights to twelves, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, exactly. So eight twelve plus a couple of good ounces of bait. So mm -hmm. all right, let's see here, this Mojo Cat. See how this sucker casts. Not bad, not bad. What a 10 ounce lead. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, hold, 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 hold that for me. He's there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm loving this mojo cat, man. It's light. Yeah, this is feeling like a good fight. You gotta pull real hard. I break your rod. I put your chest. Mm-hmm. Well, this is a nice fish, man. Uh, 32 pounds, was it? Yes, sir. 32 pounds. Not a bad way to start. I love this guy, man. Nice. Yeah, that's actually one of my favorite rods in this set, is that Shatter Cat. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, I don't... I don't put it in the best spot, then. Yeah, let's, I, I want to... I want to... We can break that thing. Oh. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh. Let's, let's put it through its paces. He's talking my language. Nice fish, man. Nice fish. Congratulations. That's your first blue catfish. Oh, look at that. That cat max seems to be handling that, no problem. All right, David, not bad. 33 pounds, man. That's a beauty. Cat max is doing good. Still got plenty of backbone to give. That's it. That's your biggest catfish ever, right? Biggest ever. All right, David, you just broke your PB for the third time today. How does that feel? Pretty good. <laughs> 58 pounds, man. That's a monster. Over 100 pounds of catfish on that one Cat Max rod. It's been a good test on that one. That is one of the few two-piece rods in the collection, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, this, and it's got, the, it's got the, the joint right there. All right, nice little fish. Caught him on the Okuma Battle Cat. I like that rod. I like the action on that one. That was a... Uh, it was nice. All right, so this is one of Chris's favorite rods here. This is a Quantum Boca offshore. And uh, what a six foot six rod. Just got a Abu Garcia Ambassador on here. Nice action to it. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's, it's not too tip soft. A fairly light setup. I mean, this is, is not quite as light as the St. Croix, but it's lighter than every, uh, every other rod here. Nice. Nice. Have you said they discontinued it? Yeah, I wish I could get some more. Yeah. So if you have a Quantum Boca Offshore you want to sell to Chris, go <laughs> ahead, give him a call, man. All right, guys, check this out. You might recognize this is a very popular catfishing rod. This is the Ugly Stick Tiger Rod. Seven foot. The seven foot Tiger Rod. And you can see here it's got these heavy duty eyelets on it. But uh, 
if you look here, you can see where the line has been wearing grooves in the eyelets. And so, oh, Chris has had to replace the tip with Fuji tips because the tips wear out the fastest. And uh, as you see here, he's got mono, not, not braid that's doing this, this is mono. So the same eyelets you see on the rail splitter, the battle cat, cat shatter does. cat, big cat, uh, big cat fever, a lot of them have it. These eyelets are nice that they're not as fragile as the Fuji inserts. You know, that little insert doesn't get broken, but they, they do eventually get sawn in places and that can put nicks in your line and eventually it will, will break. And especially the worst is when it's under a lot of pressure when you have a really big fish. <laughs> yeah, that reel's making some funky noise. Yeah. Click, click, click. What is that? Yeah, it's that. Pl it's the play in the gears. Yeah, that's what it is. Is that click, click? It's the, it's the anti-reverse taking a millimeter, half a millimeter to to kick in. Yeah, slop in the gears. Yeah, that's noise is slop in the gears. Yeah, that's a lot of slop. So let's do a comparison. So here's, here's the slop on that. Here's the slop on that. These don't just, do it, do they? No, they like no, that. They, they're tight. They're tight. Only them red ones do it. Yeah, those are Cast King Rovers. Yep, the... That one doing it too, but not. Now, a couple things you should know about me and about this rod review series. First off, I am not sponsored by any rod manufacturer or any of these companies. So these are rods that I've bought with my own money. These are reels I bought with my own, own money. And so I'm gonna give you my honest opinion about each and every one of them. Additionally, I've owned these rods for almost a year now. I bought them back in February, 2017. So I've had a lot of time to, to test these out and to use them. And uh, this is kind of what uh, my takeaways are from all these rods. So first off, this right here is probably the best in class of, of all these rods. It's the St. Croix Mojo Cat. It is an awesome rod and it comes with a pretty steep price tag. It's 165 bucks. It handled a 32 pound blue catfish very well. It's a medium heavy power, seven foot fast action rod. It's got a very stiff action, cast like a dream though. Um, right now I think we have eight ounces of lead on it and it just, goes a country mile and this Ming Yang reel is a great pairing. It's lighter than the Abu Garcia reels which complements the lightness of the rod and it's just a real sleek, good looking, well functioning combo and I like like this one probably the most of all but it is very expensive. The other rod that I've been I've really enjoyed it's been a bit of a surprise is I like the Okuma Battle Cat it's one of the few two-piece rods in the series and it breaks apart here instead of in the middle of the rod so the ferrule doesn't interfere with the action it feels and plays like a one-piece rod but it breaks down you know and has the convenience of a two-piece rod so it ships a little bit cheaper and it stores a little bit nicer it's got a funky handle too it's got this composite cork handle on the foregrip and a traditional cork handle on the end i've got it paired up with the ming yang it's a lighter rod this is a more our sensitive uh rod yeah, this is would be a great rod for like striped bass as well it's a seven foot six uh inch rod it's ideal for one to eight ounces, and I think we are uh, been chucking eight or 10 ounces of lead with this. So it casts pretty well, pretty well. Um, another rod of this series that I really like is the Shattercat rod, a very small company. This is the only model they make is this bait casting heavy powered rod, but it's a good looking, really good looking uh, blank. It's got these nice uh, metal components, a uh, tight looking and uh, foam handle, just a really snazzy looking and rod. And it's one of the most affordable in this entire group. It's, I believe this sells for $71. So out of this entire group, I think it's either the cheapest or the second cheapest. Um, I've got it paired up with the Abu Garcia uh, Catfish Special, which just looks stunning. It's a little bit too expensive for this and uh it also comes with a catfish apparently because i think we've got one going right oh oh popped him off let's see if he comes back and i really like this rod if you're going to be catching smaller fish as well as some big fish 
I like this one because it just, you can feel the smaller fish and enjoy them more. Like the big cat fever rods are so bulky that they, they're not as fun with the smaller fish. Um, so this is a, a better all around rod. If you're not always catching massive fish, but you still need to throw big leads and catch the occasional monster. This Bass Pro Shop Cat Max needs to get a good shout out. This rod's gotten the most workout of all the rods here. It caught a 58 pounder, a 32, a 31 pounder, and a 38 pounder um, today and handled all of them plenty fine. It uh, didn't look or feel like a particularly beefy rod, but it certainly didn't uh, max out catching that 59 pounder. Um, oh, look at that. He's on, he's on. Okay, go, go get him, Curtis, go get him. The one on the far left, far left, far left. Putting a nice bend in that uh, medium heavy power big cat fever rod. I like the grip on it. How do you like this reel compared to that uh, bit, that red reel? The uh, oh, this reel is much better than the red one. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't wiggle doesn't on wiggle you and jiggle. On it, yeah. So, Curtis, what was your favorite rod? My favorite rod, man. I'd have to say, was this the one that we caught them all? The, no. the one you caught the big one on, the Cat Max. Yeah, the Cat Max. That was a nice one from Bass Pro Shop. Yep. I liked that one. The, uh, I really wanted to pull one in on this, on the Mojo Cat. It feels nice in the oh, hand, doesn't it? Yeah. It feels very different than the other rods. I mean, you pick it up, it feels expensive, doesn't it? It does. I can feel just the money between my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It really is. <laughs> How about you, David? What's your favorite rod? Which is the one that I caught my big one on? <laughs> <laughs> the Cat Max. The Cat Max. The Bass Pro yeah. Shop Cat Max. I like that one just because sentimental reasons yeah <laughs> how about just how it feels in the hand like reeling them in and just which one do you like picking up the most oh i like uh the mojo the mojo yeah yeah that's the thing i am not a fan of the saint croix rods at all i've owned a couple saint croix that i really hated so i very begrudgingly bought this rod and included in the re uh, rod review videos but everyone who picks it up loves it man it's just and I have to agree with them, even though I don't like the idea that just because it's expensive, it's a nice rod. It's not the case. But in this case, it really is a nice rod. It's got a huge price tag, but it's a nice rod. Another rod that costs the same amount of money as the Mojo Cat, but doesn't elicit the same amount of love is this one, the Rail Splitter. It's a nice rod. I mean, it's all quality parts and components. Um, but it is beefy, it, it is a heavy, big rod, and it costs the same. Though you can get it for cheaper than the Mojo Cat if you buy it as a set. I think it's 165, just like the Mojo Cat by itself, but if you buy them as a set, they're like 145 or 135 or some a piece. So if you're willing to buy a lot of them, you can get a deal. It's a, it's a very good rod, but I just do not know if it's worth the price tag. I really think the Big Cat Fever rods are an, an equivalent rod, and these are like, $80 and this is like $165 so almost double the price but while it is a nicer rod I just don't think the price tag is justified um, unlike the mojo like cat you like that cat max the rod, I like that. yeah yeah Chris likes this one too man. this and I is think that's the real I like the you like that Ming Yang reel too yep, I like that reel and that rod yeah when it comes to the reels I think there's a pretty clear winner here the Ming Yang reels are definitely the one I like. So the Ming Yang reel is it's much cheaper than the Abu Garcia, but it's lighter than the Abu Garcia, a little bit smaller than the Abu Garcia, but otherwise equivalent, and it just feels like a high quality reel. Now I've only had it for a year, so we'll see if it holds up. But so far, we really like it. The Casking Rover, too much play, too bulky, too heavy, and it's not that cheap. Another good uh, bait caster, which isn't represented here, is the Bass Pro Shop Cat Max um, reel, which it was originally designed to go with the Cat Max rod, which we all like so much. So definitely a, a, a reel that I'm going to be looking at more in the future. You don't, you don't want the Cat Max reel. No, you don't like the Cat Max reel? I got like four of them broke at home. We got four of them broke at home. Hopefully that'll help you guys find a nice big river rod, because if you're going to be fishing in current, you're going to be throwing heavy leads, big baits, there's some really great rods and reels to choose from here. Thanks for watching and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to be putting out a rod review video every day this week. So click subscribe, 
make sure you click the notification button and check out all of our rod review videos uh, that we're gonna be putting out. We've got some great videos coming up. I'm gonna give away both the rod and the reel to one of you guys. If you wanna win, all you have to do is one, click subscribe, only subscribers can win. Two, go ahead and share this video. Share it on any YouTube channel, social media page, website, whatever. And three, leave a comment telling me which rod or reel you wish I would review, okay? And make sure it's one I haven't reviewed already. So I'll pick a winner from of the comments one week from today and announce it on uh, my video one week from today. So make sure you click subscribe, share, and comment to win this awesome 200 plus dollar combo. Also, I have a lot of rods and reels to give away. So stay tuned and keep watching. Click that notification button because we're gonna be posting a lot more rod and reel giveaways here in the future. Thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> we miss you, Tommy.